by Dr. P. Nandu Kumar, the Associate Professor of Department of ECE from CEG and University. Uh, the control system, I think uh, this is the third or fourth time I am coming and taking for you. And uh, regarding this uh, subject control system, what are topics they have covered till now for you? First unit. First unit. Very easy or tough you feel? Moderate. How about boys? Girls in moderate. Very easy subject. Yeah. It's very easy subject. Control system you see is very easy nowadays. For now, if you see, getting a pass in this subject is very, very tough. Because, you know, this paper, basically, they will ask only problem and some kind of derivation. It's not like theory. Theory comes now, they will ask 8 marks. And 15 marks, if you see, are most of the questions, 90% of the questions will be problematic. So, if you are not solving the problem in the class and uh, go to home and uh, solving some more examples is very difficult for you because you are engineers they will not ask some state questions for a state tech data for example I think the first unit deals in state about trading about uh, basic basic elements in the control system and trade uh, about electrical and analogous mechanical and Electrical systems, synchronous, AC, and D servo motor, block diagram, and signal flow graph. The second unit of Padina, if you see the first unit, it is you are studying only the basics of, basics of control systems. Why you want to study this kind of subjects? See, the theory, you see this book, I think the book is referred as Gopal Bhutta. Gopal is book reference book, I don't know. Any book, all India. Okay, now any is not the book for you, it is a Gopal, some book, some book, some book, some book, some book, Gopal book. You see the Gopal book, most of the Gopal book party lab, the little Gopal book party here, all the party lab, all the India. Gopal book, no, why you didn't see Gopal book? It is given in the test book, no. Reference book of Padina is given as Gopal. In our you see, nowadays, I call the book Gopal book from starting from 19, I don't know, 20th century and the 19th century. From 1927 developed. That is Nakyust, a scientist. So Nakyust, or many scientists. That is, whatever you are going to study, that is Mason's. Second photograph, it is Mason game formula. They are all developed this kind of systems which is useful for till now. The name of the Tokyo I don't know, you see the couple of the history, history of control systems. Let's go through. So, think about scientists, how they have developed this kind of applications. You have to think as a control subject, you are studying, where are you going to use this? Say, example, what are the particular point one said? I just want to get fast mark. Pretty person, you will not get job. Nowadays, you know, nowadays, you know, getting a job is very difficult. Especially, uh, this kind of scenario, if you see in, in India, it's very difficult to get a job if you are not studying good. First class part is not important for you. You know that. You're getting 80 percentage, 90 percentage, it is not, it's very easy nowadays. 8.3 GP is very, very, very easy. Easy customer. That is first class. First class is, is easy. Okay, if you have some kind of uh, only 50% you will get first or 80% they will get. Anybody will have the first class. Third first class, you are going to apply for the so this kind of you know teaching is a continuous learning process. Up to now personal only make career. If you go for uh, outside board, they will not ask uh, whatever you studied in the class. And moreover, control system, 
if you go and see some DRDO or uh, some uh, ISRO application at all, they ask 50% of questions in the internal systems. You know why? That's why I told you, just think about the applications. ISRO, what they are doing? They are sending the space, they are missiles. Sir. They are all fully control systems. Satellites, air missiles, robotics, okay, or industrial automations. Everywhere the subjects come from. And moreover, the first unit up to I think time domain, frequency response, stability, the last unit only, the state variable analysis is not digital domain. Remaining four is analog. But analog, that is study the analog design also. Hmm? So, okay, you have studied about uh, first unit, what you understand in first unit? So I told this nothing but uh, I came for here uh, not, not to teach the theory part. Uh, just I will tell what are things is there and what to be studied. Uh. You know, you know Nagani book If you study Nagani, they will not ask if you follow that book. Uh, but uh, you have to study Gopal book as well as that book also. And the book More theory application what you in Gopal book. Problem solving and all, it's some other local Ramesh Babu, Nagani you can see. But if you want to understand the concept, you have to see Gopal or Opeta. Okay. Some good books, how, why we want to model a system. The first unit if you see, all are modeling a mechanical, rotational system, or mechanical, translational systems, or analogous systems. Analogous systems. Analog another. Analog equivalent systems. You can, you can design a mechanical system and you can relate to your electrical system. If LK systems, uh, the RLC is equal to the mass spring and dashboard. RLC is equal to the, this, this analog is even change. And everything is not, they have been proved mathematically. How we are changing that. It has been proved mathematically. Everything is mathematics now. Modeling itself, you see, why we want to model systems, then only we'll analyze the systems. How to model. What is your open loop system? What is your closed loop system? How the closed open loop system can be replaced? That is how far? How far it can be given to the closed loop? So open loop system, the we can see into the bring into the closed loop systems. So this kind of theory you have to study, and which is useful for your getting a job. Let me wonder, job is not very good. Not getting placement and uh, it is very, it is very, well, get in some shop. If you go out to the campus with a job, you have to go out. If you go out and they enter, they enter, the world is entirely different. So what are subject you are studying? You study with application. If you see, as I told, control systems as are used in almost all in consumer electronics or industrial automation or in the what can I say? So what we are doing in the home appliances, and robotics, the home appliances and we are in the fridge, washing machine, okay, and uh, micro oven, everything there is kind, some kind of system is forward. Some kind of system is there. How we are controlling that? For example, we go for the in fridge, how we are controlling temperature, how the temperature has been controlled. What are the blocks is there? How the sensors face? How to read the sensors? Or if industry means how to measure the temperature or humidity or flow, viscosity, like that. Everything is you have to control and that control you have to design. Elami existing recur. But everything is remodeled. Modeling the modeling a system. How to model with the existing technology. You have to redesign, new design. You have to do for some kind of new applications. Servo motor is some kind of applications. First of all, uh, the control systems has been used in the centrifugal pump as a motor. There are only automatic systems. They are going for automated systems. 
LME, they are going for automatic control systems. Nowadays, you know that, you are aware that uh, the application is already developed. Uh, when you are working in the office, we can see what is happening in your phone. Okay? And if you want to switch on the AC means, it automatically switch on the AC by using the some kind of wireless applications. The system is going, nowadays, all flats has been going for next kind, next level. Next level of the flat is maybe in, in, in uh, when you buy a house, the applications, all the houses have the, this kind of applications. Nothing earlier, we had about that. Get in here, man. It's really good to bring it This kind of technology is coming. If you have AC, at least you can switch on the phone, you can switch on the mobile phones. Mobile phones is nothing but a system which has all kind of communications. Communication device. If you have to forget to switch off the gas, the girls will talk about it, then automatically they send the alarm. They automatically switch off. So the robotics field has been developed. Robo will be there. Yes, some kind of robo robo will be there in the form. It will do all the work for you. So what I'm trying to say is, the application is we can't limit the applications. In the area, now uh, we, we can't tell this is the application for your control systems. Lot of applications there, and whatever given is is the basics. These are the basics. What you can basics now. And moreover, interest of money will be nowhere related. In, uh, in aircrafts, electric control system. In aircraft, you see how we are controlling the latitude or how we are controlling the pressure, how we are controlling the humidity because the temperature may be different. How the propeller will. Okay? So, like the, the autopilot system. Nowadays, you are going for autopilot systems. All application you know, control systems comes. Any doubt for control systems? If you have any clarification, just ask them. And you have to study the Gopal book. Gopal book is studying. Exam la pata alam na problem or alam na problem or other. You see the exam, maybe uh, on the model or no, but small small difference will be there the problem. Agar ni tapan ni na, you lose the marks. Andi pa ida thoriye problem aadhe, you have missed. Okay. So you have to study the Gopal book and see how many books you definitely will get more than eighty to ninety marks. Don't study the only single book. I am not saying for all subjects you have to study from the books given in the reference. In the example, you have to reference some other one. If I am the center means, I will see the reference book. Okay, take that book. Take some question from that. So, if you have to study the subject, and I think your fifth semester, almost you have done four semesters, you know that even though you have to study the one of the books given in the reference. Okay. okay, tell me what are the basic blocks will be there in the system? In electronics, in electronics, if you see electrical, you see the motors, it has so many blocks will be there. You look at the area, the wires will go, resistors will go, capacitors will go. Each one is doing some kind of some kind of uh, uh, applications. The other thing is have been controlled electrically by the motor over there. So like that, all blocks will do. For example, if you see this one block, regulator will be a block. Tickering will be there. Rectifier will be there. Okay, and we are having a motor and a tachometer to rectify the speed and we are having a kind of feedback. Okay, so this whole block is nothing but a closed loop system which is an example for a closed loop system. Open loop like you see, we are not having the, some kind of feedback. Plant will be there and input and the output. If any deviation is there nowadays, we are going for automatic down. Automated systems or digital systems. Automated if any output the disturbance occurs means it should automatically rectify the system errors. So, closed loop is some, is advantages for any kind of design company with the open loop. Open loop also is used. Open loop, I can say, open loop is also used in the industry applications. It's 
not much compared to the growth group systems. Nowadays, everything is now, you can say now, it has been replaced by all by the automated systems, the digital systems. Okay. If you see here, next one. Whatever the motor will have the servo mechanism which is the output controlled by the motor. So this is an example for a closed loop system. For a, this is the water level, water level of a control system. How we are drawing the block diagrams. For example, the water container has one block. Okay? So like that, if you see, we have the we have more number of blocks, motor or block, or gear assembly on block, and amplifier on block, and the float be one block and the valve may be another block to control the flow of the water and finally input will be there. So whatever the deviation will be there, it will, will correct. So the control system may be a open loop and the closed loop. The closed loop has some kind of feedback, some kind of feedback which is which is not there in the open loop systems. And uh, in the block diagram also if you see, it is also a one kind of closed loop systems. LMA block, each block, one block, two block, G1, G2, G3, we are finding only the gain of the system. How to find the gain? How to model a function? Mathematically, we are modeling. In mechanical system and electric system, see, we are modeling the systems. How we are modeling the systems? This one block, it's the same thing. The operator is the we are going for the block diagram. Next to this is a water level. Like that, you can go for temperature control system or any that uh, pressure also type of closed loop control systems. While well, pressure is controlled, like same is the control system now. So every block has kind of systems. Okay. You see that LCD has kind of systems. The processor also that only controls the whole block. So motor is another block and amplifier is another block and finally we are having the comparator's error because feedback will be there. If there is any error, automatically the amplifier will increase the gain and it will control the next step. If it compared to the desert water level, this is the feedback. This is the feedback signal. So we will have the sensors will be there to measure the flow. And this is the how we are drawing a closed loop system in the block diagram. Each block will do this. You see this, this just see the thing. The float, work, gearing mechanism, motor amplifier, the amplifier signal. So motor is there to control the switch on the motor. Next give the output of the motor into the gearing mechanism and the wall will be there to control the level of the same and finally goes to the water container. When there is excess water means it will automatically switch on the motor. So the feedback will be given. If any error occurs, it should correct automatically, not by the manually. Next one. So this is an activator. This whole block we see here in control system, you can say activator plant, uh, okay. activator plant, next one. Process like that. So this is, a, as I told, this is a fundamental structure of a system. And this is for open loop systems. This diagram shows the open loop systems. So we are controlling the plant. The input is given to the controller, and the controller will give an output to the activator. The activator output is given to the process. Some kind of disturbance is there, the output is affected. So if anything happens, means we have to switch on the system. Then we have to correct it in open loop. So automatically, industry, if you see, industry on the top. We need, a, we should not shut down the systems. It should automatically correct the error and it, the plant should run. Otherwise, it is lost to the industries. So, this kind of applications, if you are not bothering about the, the disturbance, 
can go for open systems. All are cost effective. Da. Unless, sir, if you have for example, small applications here, I should not go for closed loop thing. Because cost is more. You have to think of which, which have to use them for what you are going to design for your application. In application, you can use it in open loop or closed loop. Okay, yeah. Closed loop or cost, you should not invest on that. Yes, the company have they will ask in the interview also. Okay, the company is investing money on you. If you are doing some projects or whatever you are going to do, you should come for so many decades. Nokia for example. So Nokia is not thinking about the long kind of thinking. Either phone and put job before all while before uh, six years you see all are Nokia phones. The father get a bargain. Now everything is replaced because on the level of phone you have to He has a lot of money on that. You're not able to compensate. But on the Samsung smartphone put on here, Android phone, you know that. Most of them is Android phone. At that time Samsung is not able to introduce in the market. On the right time the market level produce panel. Time to market. They're telling about time to market, time to design. So the time of waste point of he is investing the money on the only the ordinary phones, not for smartphones. He thinks that smartphones will be very costly, nobody will buy them. Samsung is given to 4,000 rupees. Everybody has been buying and Nokia is better than Nokia. Nokia is better than Nokia. Nokia is Nokia. Microsoft buying the phone. Who is buying the phone now? Microsoft buy the. Microsoft buy the Nokia phone and he introduced some phones also. Nokia Lumia put on again. Microsoft Lumia put on again. But who is who is buying that? Maybe one or two, ten percentage of the population. So what I am trying to say is, if the industry is giving any anything, नहीं वाले क्या करेंगे? Next after completing one year, we go to the job. And some of them uh, go for some kind of design engineers. For, for team of work, for problem work, for person of work, that design is not so easy to design. So, yeah, you all existing part whatever the things, for example, let's see thing, the same kind of process will be there. Only the peripherals has been changed. First, the design has been basically the LCD is very, very compact now. While I am trying to be very big, you can see TV, for example, you can see TV. But TV is very compact. For 231 and 230 rupees, you can see smartphones. But you can see, and 10,000 rupees LED TV is made. 10,000 rupees, you have, you can get here, on 13 LED TV. That kind of LED TV cost has been reduced, going to come. Same company who is giving phones, he is ready to give, 10,000 rupees LED TV for you. So automatically, if it comes to the market, automatically the cost has been reduced for all other TVs. So what I'm trying to say is, while you get Padika Murun Seri, you have to think about long term. Okay, the personal, what use you are for this? Example, on the particular gate exam, Padika Murun, the going for next time, 60 years, you get ready for gate. Almost 20% of the question is different from optical systems only. Especially for the electrical students. Easy to get over there. Electrical car and deep power. So you have to think in that point of view. I mean, they take a matter of solving the problem. Take Laplace transform, inverse Laplace transform. Take Z transform, inverse Z transform. So analog level me on the, but if you're taking for analog system, digital law, it is something about Z domain. Yes, plain. I think you studied about G of S. So you're studying here. G of S R. Converting into Laplace transform, time domain into frequency domain. Yes, so on the replacing by TR inverse. G of S will go, then you take Laplace transform, or T will go, then you take for Laplace transform, and take inverse Laplace transform. What do you mean here? Laplace is not here. Which problem will take Laplace transform? That's the function of Pakaan system, yeah. Pakaan system, what's your name? Electronic, mechanical, all of it. You can say, we have all the parts, but I can say, in future PC, 90% will be electronic now. 
எல்லா பார்ட்ஸும் எலக்ட்ரிக்ஸ் மாறிடும் யூ நோ தட் நவ டேஸ் எலக்ட்ரிக் கார் இஸ் கமிங் எலக்ட்ரிக் பைக் இஸ் கமிங் மெக்கானிக்கல் பிளஸ் எலக்ட்ரானிக்ஸ் ஸோ கோர்ஸ் மெக்கானிக்ஸ் இல்ல டிஃபரெண்ட் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் கோர்சஸ் ஸோ ஆல்மோ இங்க சிக்ஸ்டி டு செவன்டி பர்சன்ட் ஆஃப் ப்ராசஸர் எடுத்தீங்கன்னா எம்பட் ப்ராசஸர் கால் எடுத்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னு வச்சுங்க to take the cost of for audio card just go to google and type up how many processor has in audi cars or vm double cars or cost cars more than 3 lakhs ella fuel injection la irund air bag la irund how we are controlling the <coughs> speed of the vehicle so if any obstacle came comes up just like our our body is a kind of system body system body itself is a biological system automatically our body adapts to the temperature you know uti kodaganala some other application ponina automatically our body adapts to the environment okay so some kind of uh, system is in our body itself similarly all the universe itself is a system so control system illa me edhume kadaya system illa me edhume kadaya In the college, you can see they are developing some systems. Okay, first assessment is done. Test stage, first hour test stage is done. Or second hour class is going. So some kind of lecture they are following. See, so many colleges are not having this kind of interaction. You know that. You see, only very few colleges are having this kind of interaction. They are calling the people from outside, and I think your colleges are doing very very good. There are some experts are coming and taking class for you. Puri do iliyo something. whatever do you know or whatever you want to ask you can interact with them correct ah so friends get paranga engale call la first hour rendu sendi to the class nadha okay one me kadaya some kind of conference they have but they will not call some kind of experts from outside we can ask in the university itself we see now the education has been changing now we are following the not the uh, curriculum we can we to choice based grid systems cbcs in solar Choice based grid systems and whatever subject you want to study, you can study. It's not like that. Or some of the books that you don't study in that area. Because if you if you are uh, interested in mechanical subject, you won't sit there. Only thing is the number of credits, sir. Electrical, na, for 20 points, you must study electrical subject. That's all. Like that. 50 percentage you can study electrical. Maybe 50 percent you don't study. That is that is called as choice based grid system, where the UGC University Grant Commission is telling to do that. You get the subject easy. Oh, that is particular. We are not following that. We are doing this. They are following S R M. They are doing, and our university also using. But uh, very slowly introduced to the our affiliated universities. You get affiliated universities. It may be slowly introduced now. But practical difficulties there. So that's only they are not able to introduce this kind of system. Will be the grades. And if you are failing. But reappear that the exam period is not possible. At least come here now. You have to go for the class. And no internal marks. Nothing will be evaluated. So the text. Now we are going to. Why the modern prime school is? We are moving to next generation of studies. <coughs> Maybe after five years, it may come to after university also. After that, college also. It is very useful for you for your to study. It's not an easy. Yeah, easy. Particular knowledge is there. Particular electrical knowledge is there. I want to study such a thing. Means you go and study the easy papers. You pass that no problem. Easy to pass. If I take exam, then easy itself. Or mechanical, civil like that. Okay. <coughs> so the car, if you see, it is a combination of mechanical system and electrical systems. Okay. And nowadays, if you see in the cars, they have introduced the. They need to what they introduce in cars nowadays. They are having there is no need to give the accelerator. For button, I am going to tell you. What is the button called? Switch. Switch is there. See, you know that the pillar, the brake will be there, accelerator will be there, and acceleration will be there. Brake, clutch will go, and switch will go. So going in the highway end all, okay? There is no need to give the accelerator. You want to go at one kilometer per speed. बटन आम किधर दालिस कॉल्ड है सेकंड दिन तय दिन क्या क्लच चला गया क्या है ना टाइम इतना क्लास 
So when uh, they introduced, uh, nowadays in Maori also, NCRs are in Breeza, they introduced low cost lab. Okay? Low cost lab, it will be in high end cost only. And we are going for uh, uh, outside the campus, the bank, if you want to go to bank, look, already start to press the road with somewhat free only. If any obstacle comes, means automatically I will like this and another stuff. I will like automatically coming the eyes, seeing the obstacles and it should connect to the brain and our leg has to apply the brake. This is the control only. They control the speed of the car. So there is no need to give the acceleration. Put it there with the clutch. That's what I'm aware of. No, it's better. But the name of that. Brake when you have to apply. Okay. So I should go. That kind of technology has been developed. That kind of like this system. See, what is the name of and uh, if any obstacle comes, you could be there, you have to apply the brake out of slow off. If you apply force also, it, the brake will not go. Because nowadays all are ABS systems, anti-braking systems. The 120 km is filled up and you brake at China, automatically it would happen to the accident. So what the design means, go for ABS systems. You have to brake at China, it will automatically slowly reduce the speed. And there is no need to give the acceleration. Put it there. Break at so go at the level. Automatically, the switch is calculating all the things, parameters. It may be one That is system. That is a system. The name I forgot the name of that the switch is okay. Just go through your net and see. Okay. So it is calculating the mathematical modeling it is doing. Modeling is okay. About speed at it should not happen accident and the obstacle is not going to happen and the speed is not going to happen. You can see it in the back of the road. You can see it in the back of the road. It will go automatically. That kind of application is developed. It is not going to happen. It is said to know the base will be the car and the other. Then the peripherals, what they are going to add, it should change. Application is changing every day, day by day. Another to be able to see, all cars have ABS. All cars have ABS compensated for the government. You know, all cars have ABS. You see, after two years, all cars have the, this kind of systems. ABS on the road, anti-break this road. I don't know about the actual car car road, that is different. But, ABS will, that is called cruise control. I forgot the name, that is called cruise. The cruise button on China, it will go automatically. The car will go automatically, water speed of fixing. And, whatever the, for example, if any bridge comes, but now watch it, I don't know what to do. If you have a bike or a motorbike, if there is a bridge, you will actually have a certain air, you have to apply the force. But the car is automatically calculating that. That is important. If the speed is coming, if the cruise button is coming, the speed is 100 to 100 to 100 to 100 to 100. And the bridge also, you have to apply the force. If the force is coming, it will rise. Otherwise, they slow down now in the bridge. If you want to walk in the bridge, you have to walk in the bridge. You have to walk in the bridge. You have to walk in the bridge. You can climb up. Otherwise, you are not able to. The speed is reduced. But it should not happen in the car. It is a mechanical system. So like that, the application is developed. Think about satellite and the space vehicles. Or flight club. Rather, some error occurs means automatically the whole system is collapsed. Everything is tested. It's a design panita. Test it. It should be tested and it should be implemented in the some kind of uh, uh, new design means it should work. Okay. And so this is a closed loop. Same diagram. Same diagram. It has been repeated. So tell me if you see in mechanical systems, it's always the Newton's law of motion. So the mechanical systems is always the Newton's law of motion. Second law, third law. Second law. Okay. Some of the applied force is equal to the sum of the opposing force. Some of the applied force in mechanical system you see, we are applying only the force. Till now, whatever you are studying, the same blocks is used in mechanical systems. Mass na, mass na, the blocks are in the system. Spring, dashboard. So what dashboard? 
That's what another. It is here. It is the pressure coefficient. It is the pressure coefficient. Okay. It is based inside the cylinder. So this kind of uh, thing is still now it is not changed. Same blocks are being used. So you problem. Practice panna da ni exam board board you. Today observe past the paper that maths. What are doing the class update in one time? And especially uh, this uh, paper, if you getting the, we know that they allow the key with them. Okay, getting the correct answer means they'll give full marks. Sir, you know, depending upon the stage, what you have solved or depending upon the material you have stuff, how much mark you have. Sir, last step that up for the answer, the point is going for revision also, you learn it. If you pass, sir, for forty, then you know, fifty. But if you getting good marks means. For 80 percent mark, if you're getting means you have to solve. That's the number one problem. You have to go take some other book, solve more problems. So as I told, the block diagram, the signal program, example, example, what is now? They will ask either from mechanical systems, electrical systems, or the block diagram or signal program. So what is the difference between block diagram and signal program? Let me first think. I think so. Block diagram and Signal program personally, what is a block diagram? What is signal program? Why you want to study this? See, especially uh, this control system. See, it is applied. It is applied to all kind of systems. It is a linear system or non-linear system. It may be a linear, non-linear, continuous or discrete system. Okay, just keep on over. Next to go. I think the will be. This is the definition of feedback. Okay, next one. This is the transfer function. The transfer function is nothing but this is the transfer function for the closed loop systems. Let us define the transfer function for the closed loop system. Means you have to write DC of S by G of S. You have to write the transfer minus G of S into H of S. Okay. So you can take the Laplace transform and find the loop transfer function. Here, the so G of S into H of S is nothing but your loop transfer function. G of S into H of S is your loop transfer function. Next step. Next step. Ah, uh, this is a type of system. Ah, uh, this is the linear and non-linear, time invariant, time varying systems, continuous and discrete. This I told you. Continuous. Told you. So, multiple input, multiple systems are very useful in the. These are the basic performance requirement of a control system. Stability very much important. Stability. Next is the accuracy. How is how is the steady state response? Next we are talking now. They are studying about time domain analysis. Time domain analysis. Second unit. Time response. Another second unit. Time domain analysis. What is time domain analysis? What is its response? Response in the time domain. We are analyzing a system response in time domain. So now you are the response. Now I am the input to it. How we are going to respond? The person will be like, "Oh, I am the chera. Time is about thirty eight. Four hours. It should not think like that. Somebody knows. Okay, time response means it is we are analyzing a system in the time domain. You are designing money to your system." A test point will learn how the response will be there. In all my response, now for each uh, each block is doing. I am the input to you. Maybe you uh, there are standard inputs available. Today I am the input. Maybe you uh, maybe I am a ramp input, a step input, a parabolic input. Input may be different types. Okay. So what the literature is saying means from theory. What they are, I am trying to say is. If you are designing any systems, it should be. Motor. Never block diagram. Just tell me. Design or design. Whereas in the signal of graph, it is something else. It is a graphical approach. It is a graphical approach. This is a point. The point for the block diagram. <coughs> like this is the G1 point. This is a block diagram. Whereas the point means, I'm going to draw a circle. In the time domain. And if you see the second unit, it deals with the first order system and the second order system. Okay, what is first order and what is second order means? 
the first order system and the second order system. Then we have the we have to find the transit function for the first order and the second order. Okay. Using these two orders, we can design n number of varying the different response. The system response will be the we are having this four thing and moreover the damping system is stable. It doesn't matter thing. But design on car, how would it stay stable working condition of a system? And define stability is nothing but stable working condition of a system. There are a lot of methods is there to test the stability. You are designing a system by using the mechanical or electrical or design. You analyze the response also. It may be a any kind of response. Okay. And we are now we are going third chapter to the stability. The stability is very much important in any kind of design. It deals with the stable working condition of a system. So route the I think Raoult will be the famous so level. Raoult, the Raoult, the scientist, Raoult, the scientist who introduced the, this Raoult. A lot of mothers have told Raoult, Nakius, Raoult, Nakius, or Gold Black. The name of the is called as frequent response black, Gold Black, Polar Black, Root Locus. I think root locus is there, you know? 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 Root locus is there, Accused. What is the the main difference between the Rout and Accused means? Accused deals with the relative stability. It's not about is the Rout the scientist. Okay? It's not. He told whether the system is stable or not. Test. Uh, he is given some uh, steps to say whether the given system is stable or not. Okay, the chapter we can solve the problem. We can solve the problem. Tell okay, this system is stable or not, but we can't say how fast stable. Okay, let's go back. And this is as I told now, this is the frequency response of a system for one maybe a step input, maybe a step input that alpha is for damping. Okay, so alpha is for damping. The right hand side is nothing but your magnitude plot and the phase plot. So magnitude and phase. So this was step in step response. When the alpha is greater than zero and uh, it is less than one, the system is called as underdamped case. Underdamped case. So if the alpha is equal to one means the alpha is a damping ratio. Damping ratio. So the system is critically damped. Okay. And if alpha is greater than one means the system is over damped. If you see the topmost one, the put in number n is given in the curve, it's not in the lot lines. That response is nothing but very quick and it has some kind of oscillation at the output. For that, they have drawn that is one magnitude plot, that is the phase plot. So omega is the frequencies. You have to find the magnitude and the phase. Okay. So when your alpha is zero, that is undamped. So that only it leading to the sustained oscillation. If we see the response of a system, one is the steady state response, other is the what is transient response. Transient and the steady state. Output of the response will be transient state or in the steady state. And this is the what are time domain specifications. What are the time domain and what is what frequency domain. The time domain will have the the peak cover shoot, the second unit what I am studying, in this page we will find the, analyze the response, okay, and we will find 
what is the peak power shoot, what is the rise time, what is the damping ratio, what is the damping frequencies, alpha, omega n, and your ESS. So ES is the steady state error. Steady state error. So similarly, in the frequency domain, we will find the gain margin GM and the phase margin. Okay? And VW is where bandwidth. VW is where bandwidth. Frequency domain of the the polar plant, or in the or in the next plant, there we will find the what is the fine phase margin and the gain margin. And you have to plot the phase plot and the magnitude plot. I think it will be in the coming unit. Next problem. And this is the so if you want, we study, we will see the second unit. We will see the Second chapter is to see. So the state, you see the first point, the state and the output response with respect to the time to be evaluated. Okay, dynamic, dynamic change. Okay. So in control system problems, the final evaluation of the performance of the system is based on the time response. So in the response of what I am telling you are the response. We are going to give some kind of feedback. How will this the lecture for you? Are you bored? Or you get some ideas? Okay. What what kind of ideas is there? What you are going to tell? How it is it is useful for you or not useful for you? Okay. That is this the alpha. Depending on the alpha, everything will change. Okay. Next up. So time response we see, it is classified into two types. So just I told. One is the transient state. Other is the steady state. Okay. So transient state, so mathematically is given by the time response it is given by the transient response plus your steady state response. Okay. So the time response has two classifications. One is the transient, other is the steady. So it is defined as the, for example, the transient <coughs> response. The part of the time response that goes to zero as time becomes large. Okay. So mathematically it is given by limit y of t is equal to zero when t tends to infinity. Okay. And next is the steady state. So before the, the part of the response that remains transient before the steady state, it is the transient state. So graph putting a change. This transient state is your steady state. Okay. Any doubt on that? A doubt regarding cutoff color. If any doubt, just ask. Or I want to teach something new focus, which is interesting for you. Next to one. See the blocks, the study of the control system in the time domain essentially involves the evaluation of transient state and the steady state response of systems. If you take any system, it may be a transient and the steady state. Okay, it is a transient state and the steady state. And comparing to the as I told, let's go back. As I told, these are some standard test signals. Okay? And we have to give the test signals and we have to test that. Okay. Next one. And this is for the step function. Okay, this is for the step function. How? We are having the step input. Okay? So if you see the step function input, Laplace of R of t is equal to R into U of S. I think uh, we'll have some root locus problem. Otherwise, we'll have the we'll solve one problem, which is uh, in the root locus. Sir, you want to continue this? Root locus problem, hmm? The response we are going to see. You have to tell. Inna venum solita. I told all the applications. If you want to solve the problem, you can solve it. Hmm? 
A generalist will go through that. Hmm? Ramp, this is the ramp input. This is the ramp input. The ramp is a function that signal that changes constantly with time. See the standard input, just now I told step, ramp, parabolic. You have to apply it with the design. Okay? If you want, you will solve one. Next step. This is the route step. Rauh, scientist, okay, this is true fellows, true scientist, Rauh Kurt Sundra, you see, this is a scientist who developed for it, 19, you see the years, 1931, two scientists developed to check whether the, to find out the stability of systems, till, and that is true, sustainably we are following the same concept, okay, so stability, check it out. Stability is most important stability. Now, now to put it. Now stability. Don't talk. Stability is an important system specification. So mathematically, it is given by C of T is equal to C post plus C natural. So stability can be applied for linear time invariant system by using the natural response. So pretty, the route curves criteria is this, this topic and root of topic. A system is stable, that's very much important. A system is, when we will say a system is stable. A system is stable if the natural response, if the natural response approaches is zero. The graph put in a or no. You should not if you are giving a Vibo bounded input now. Okay? We should come for bounded output. Unbounded bounded output. If you give a bounded input, the output should be bounded output. Okay? This is called as Vibo systems. VA Vivo. We are giving a bounded input, the output should be bounded output. It should not go as unbounded. We power as graph in your input for the inner, it should not go to the Exponential of it comes to zero as time approach to infinity. That's the first point. A system is stable if the natural and imaginary axis will be there. If the pole, that is the, if the poles are lying on the left of the plane, or is the real and imaginary reporting that if the poles are lying on the left of the plane, the system is stable. You can say all the negative coefficients are stable. The ports are lying at the right of the plane, the system is unstable. If the ports are lying on the imaginary axis, the system is minus stable. So this is the three. Stability can be defined in three. Take it down. One is the asymptotic, asymptotic stability, marginal stability, and Vibo stability. Stability are three types. Asymptotic, marginal, and Vivo. So Vivo means bounded input, bounded output. That is called as the Vivo. So, for bounded input, we are giving means it should not go to the unbounded. Next to Kona. This is an example given for what is asymptotic stability in terms of equilibrium. Okay? Neutral, stable, and unstable. And this is the, what are the methods available to test the stability. Take it down. One is by using the partial fraction. Second one is the Routh the Hertz, Root Locus, Nacust, and the Frequent Test Point. LMA you can, you can use for solving the stability. We can do and we can test for stability. Partial fraction methods, Routh, Hertz, Criterion, Root Locus, Nacust, Criterion, and the Frequent Test Point plots. So in the syllabus, if you see, we are having the three, Routh, Root Locus and Recused and the Frequent Response, the Lamy Especially in this unit, we will see about what is Routh. So Routh is a scientist who is developed to find the stability. What he is saying means, to check the stable system, 
you have to say the, you have to see, you have to see the first column of the house table. Frequency response plot. One is the both 
other is the nickel, nickel for the nickel for the nickel is there for you nickel I think gold is there no gold plant gold plant nickel nickel sugar gold sir okay will be in the left half this for unstable systems we see the output it should previous for previous for next previous step we see the response of system it is somewhat quick and it has some kind of oscillation and before going to the steady state but this is the next diagram next go over this is the second diagram one step systems it has undamped output damped will appear i am giving a bounded input output is undamped So if you see the definition, the necessary and sufficient condition of feedback system to be stable, stable is that all the poles of a system transfer from as negative real path. Okay, if it has a negative real path, you can say the system is stable. Next, and moreover. In the, the transfer function for a second order system also, we are telling as the denominator equation. Take the denominator equation and equal to zero. The second order system is nothing else. The transfer function g of s will be omega s per n divided by u. Whether it is a step input or ramp input, that is such of s. Okay. One plus g of s is the transfer function. Such of s is the feedback. Okay, and equal to Finally, I'll solve the problem. Okay, next step. So this is the determinant system stability. Okay, next step. Okay. Next step. And this is the methods. Okay, we see methods for defining the row stability. Okay, very good. That's for defining the row stability. They given some transfer function a n b power n plus a n minus one b n minus one plus a n minus two d into n minus two up to a n is equal to zero. So what that really means? We have to see what is the power of system, order of system. The first row, okay? The first row is formed depending upon if the the transfer function given in the odd number means s power five will change. Five is the odd number. Okay. The first row is formed by using the entries of the odd numbers. Second row is by even numbers. Then we need to find the constant. What is the b one? What is the b two? What is the b three? Similarly, we have to find out what is c one, c two, and c three. Okay. So b one is nothing but a one into Cross multiply a one into n minus three minus a n minus one into a n minus. S power four is a even number. Over you see the order is a even. So the first the first column. Okay, first column means one two minus one eight and two. You see the first column. So if you see the first column, there is s power two very minus one. The getting as minus one. So the system is. Unstable. So S power four lambda, they are getting one sign change. So one pole is lying on the right of the S plane. Remaining three poles are lying on the left of the S plane. Like that, you have to conclude. S power four, okay, one sign change. There is no system is unstable. System is unstable, but two roots are two sign change. Other sign change. Plus two minus minus two plus. So there are two sign changes. You have to see how many sign changes is there in the system. For example, yes power three to yes power two is one sign change, and yes power two to yes power one is minus sign change. So there are two sign changes. So two poles are lying on the left of the plane, and two poles are lying on the right of the yes plane, like that. But the system is unstable. Next step. Like that, you have to solve. Next step. पूरी ना राउथ हर्ट्स हैं। ये डाउट का राउथ हर्ट्स के टीरिया बिची रूट ऑफ़ बस।
So here minus a four d one divided by k three. Like that, you have to calculate the constant. This is given now. B one, B two. You have to calculate it. Finally, this is the complete truth table. This is the complete truth table to find out the system stability. Okay. Take this. Take this. Next, you see a board. Look at the digital inversion of the surface. See the formula is enough for them. It's very easy. The root hertz side is y wants to go for root locus means okay. So y we want to go for root locus. So root has only some drawback here. You see the root table. It has some kind of drawback. You see that by applying the root, we can tell. Whether the system is stable or unstable, all of us will agree. We should not say how much the system is stable within this range. The system is stable. That is lagging in the south. So we are going for root locus or gold plan or Nyquist plan like that. So root locus is a graphical approach. And see here, the south has some drawbacks. What drawbacks are there? You know, it does not give the information about the relative stability of the system. Like uh, the amount of overshoot, a settling time, that's all over long. Now, that is what we have done. I am telling you, the system is stable. I am not going to solve it. Stable, I am not going to solve it. Let's not tell about that. So, the next step, it does not help much in the design problem which the designer, which the designer is required to achieve the desired performance. That is important. Now. For a problem at China, you should rectify that. Rectify Panama. Performance improve Panama. That is all that is all about that. Okay. If you are getting a, if you are getting a 60 mark means, next time shall I have to get 70 marks. How to improve the performance? Okay. Like that. It does not help in the design problem, which the designers require to achieve the desired performance by varying the one or more parameters. Especially stability, how stable, stability will be improved under it, accuracy will be improved under it, like that, next term. So root locus, so it is used for marginal stability, like this, for design purposes, effect of variation of the performance of the system performance, so root locus can be examined over and over. Root locus, route, board, like you, the standard question. And towards the bottom, you can tell these are the questions to be asked in the examinations. Costume design, mechanical systems, electrical systems, and analogous systems. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not going to board or signal program. These are the questions. This is one more topic. This is one more topic. But if you are studying, if you are not studying the, uh, if you think that uh, they will ask mechanical, electrical, analogous, take a modern point in the topic. You have to study all the topics. You don't know which which they will ask in the examination. Either Uttu or Ilo, that is the theory. Began the full IQ. Either Uttu or Ilo, that is the first question. Okay? So, if you have a question, that is the first question. Okay? So, you have to, at least for four units, you have to study fully. Or you know Uttu or Ilo. Don't think that first time, first time, first time, second time, first time, no question is popular. Whatever the topics you are leaving, that is, that will be a question to ask for that topics. Like that, root locus is the only important system of question. So here you see, the stability is determined, that is very important. Stability is determined from the open loop transfer function. Open loop transfer closed loop. Open loop transfer function, that is generally given in the factored form. Next step. Uh, this is the x, y axis, what that line, it is plus or minus only degree into 2m plus 1, but 2l plus 1, l is equal to 0, 1, comma 2. How we are getting means, is not needed, just you, when I, this is the 1, and this is a minus 1, it is plus or minus 180 degree, the phase shift you see is 1 degree, another is minus 180 degree, so I think yes, plus or minus is 2 inside one matter. 
So plus and minus 180 into 2L plus 1. That's why we have a formula for this. How are we finding this? It means we have to find the magnitude. The formula is plus and minus 180 into 2L plus 1. This kind of equation is derived from this xy plane. Next step. So this is the some rules are there. Some rules is given. Rule one, rule two, rule three. Okay. You have to follow this. The so second point is very much important. A point on the real axis rise and root locus if some of the open loop poles and the closed loop poles are zeros. If it is an odd number, add for no poles and the putra of power there. So they will give the number of poles and zeros. From zero to this range that just will see. If it is an odd means the root of the leg zero. You have to add the poles and zeros. Number of poles, number of zeros. If it is odd means there will be at least of root locus. It even means there will be no root locus. You can predict them. You can predict them. Next part. Some rules are given just to follow the rules. What is the problem? Whatever. Next rule, starting point and ending point. Usually, what that the theory says means the root locus will start at the open loop poles and ends with the zeros. Pole start i zero to Okay. Next step. And this is the problem. Okay. So you just to go through that. Any doubt? I'll stop you. Any doubt on this? Front of this. Second point, we have to find out the what is starting point and ending point. Starting point may be open to force. Force is flat I, not a point. Next, you have to find the angle. So the formula is there. Only in this what is the angle? Then, center point formula will be there. What is the point in this loop? Equation will be there. Next to the number. Then you have to plot the graph like this. Okay. So number of zeros plus number of poles. So you will see, stop it here. Doubt? Doubt, Rika? Voice? Okay. Thank you, Bhagavan.